This forecast is powered by Johnson's Appliances and Betty, located in Ocean City and Wildwood, or online at johnsonsappliances.net. Well, I certainly hope you guys did what you needed to do to enjoy the day. I mean, it was rainy, it was overcast, it was blah, and now it's windy. What? You're going to have trouble sleeping tonight. Trust me, I know, I'm a light sleeper. You're going to have the shutters banging. You're going to have the trees going back and forth. And it's just not going to be a wonderful night, but it's only one night. By tomorrow, things are going to be looking better. By tomorrow night, I should say. As tomorrow is going to be very, very windy. We'll get there in just a second. Minneapolis, Chicago, Detroit, Cincinnati, all very chilly in the low to mid 40s at this hour. Here at home, we're still in the 50s, but overnight, I think we're gonna get into the middle 40s for overnight lows. Very dry out there across the entire nation with the exception of Jacksonville and Miami, where it's very soupy down there, but for everybody else, how about a nine degree dew point in Salt Lake City, seven in Denver. We're in the 30s and 40s just out to our west, and we will start to tap into that going into tomorrow with that west-northwest wind. Tonight's forecast brought to you by our friends at Night of Terror at Creamy Acres. I was just there the other day. I'm going back on Friday to do a special video. Watch out for that. I can't wait for that. 47, skies will clear out. We're chilly and we're windy tonight. And then by tomorrow, that storm system is going to wrap up in the New England. It's going to undergo a process called bombogenesis. Sounds scary. It's not really scary, but the storm just intensifies rapidly. The isobars constrict and come very close to one another, and you get very windy conditions, especially as high pressure builds in, and you get this gradient in between. That's going to be the issue tomorrow. We'll start off with partly sunny skies, I believe, and then the clouds will filter down from the northwest throughout the afternoon. We have a wind advisory in effect for the entire viewing area. That's because we're probably going to wake up to gust in excess of 40 miles an hour right into the afternoon. So as the little tykes are heading out to the bus stop, make sure they have a windbreaker. They'll also need it getting off of the bus. So a good day to do your chores indoors. Lower 60s, very windy, and we'll go with partly cloudy skies. Looking brighter, looking calmer too on Friday, lower 60s. It's going to be very pleasant overall. Your 7-day forecast, I like where we go for the weekend. How about lower 60s on Saturday? Brilliant sunny skies, clouds increase late Sunday, a couple opportunities of rain early next week.